Hey guys, welcome back to iCraft MC. In the last video we went to the end and defeated the Ender Dragon on Christmas Day. And in this episode we're going to be setting up a little monument for the Ender Dragon egg that we got and uh, also going to the end to get some chorus fruit. Before we do that we're going to do today's banner. Now today's banner starts with a white banner, then we go on to a light blue dye and the light blue dye is going to be a light blue uh, base gradient which looks like this. Then we're going to go on to a blue gradient, which is going to be the normal type, so there we go. Then we're going to go on to a white lozenge, which is this kind of uh, triangular design there. Uh, then we're going to go on to a, a light blue uh, flower charge. I'll just grab the flower charge real quick. So we'll just go like this, uh, light blue flower charge. That looks like some kind of cool space thing, but that's not going to be the final pattern. The final pattern is going to end off with a white flower charge. You can see that makes a really cool looking snowflake design, so we'll just throw that up here uh, on our pillar over here. And this should be our uh, third kind of holiday themed banner, so if you guys will like that winter themed banner, it's supposed to look like a snowflake if you didn't get that one. So now we're just going to get some supplies together real quick to go to the end. So I think the only thing we're really going to need is a few ender pearls. I think I have some of those in my mixed chests over here that I should probably be sorting in soon. Let's see uh, let's see if we can find uh, that. I believe it's in here. Yeah, here we go. That should be all we need really. And we have some food. And we'll just quickly make this little um, display first, I think. That should look quite nice. I'm thinking I'll probably, uh, probably put it over here since it kind of matches with all this. And I think we'll keep the Christmas tree up for a few more episodes, just since it is still uh, the holidays. I'll we'll just throw that up, I think. Like This should look like a cool design, maybe like that. And then go, I think, like that. No, let's do it like that. Let's get rid of the egg first. Uh, and then let's just change that around a bit. I think it look better if it's more closer to the ground, maybe. Let's see if we can find that. Hmm, I think we have a torch over here. Uh, let's see, we should have some torches. Here we go. So we'll just uh, change that around a bit. I think I'll actually do it more like a plus shape. Should look quite cool. Alright, it's pretty cool to have the Ender Dragon Egg considering there's only one in the whole world. Alright, and this is just how you break the Ender Dragon Egg since it'll teleport away if we try otherwise. Uh, I think I'll start with the stone around the edges like that. And then maybe put some of this stone in the floor like this. I think it would look very cool. So it kind of looks like it's being supported. This should be a much better design, I think. And then I'll go like uh, this. Yeah, I think that looks quite good. Okay, we'll do that. And then we'll just head off to the uh, to the end again to get some chorus fruit. Since today we'll be building a small chorus fruit farm and gathering that. So we'll just put that in here. And I think we should have everything we need. And the way we get to the end is I have a, a tunnel going through the nether, so we'll just go through here. That should be pretty easy. And uh, it's just down here, and then we can just walk this way. And yeah, this is just a good way to get easily from the end and to the overworld and all that. So we'll just uh, head down here, and then we can just hop in our portal there, and we'll get some chorus fruit. And the reason why I want chorus fruit is because if you make a chorus fruit farm, you can actually get this really, really cool block called purper. And purple is a really cool purpley looking block that you can make all kinds of things with. And so we'll probably uh, just grab it for that. And also when we go through the end gateway, which is how you get to the place that has the uh, the purple or the chorus fruit rather, uh, there's also a chance we can find an end city, which would be quite cool since that has uh, some in very useful items such as elytra and also um, I think uh, shulker boxes. Yeah, so if we just go down here. Probably have to move that portal closer to the uh, end portal. I'll just hop in here. And yeah, if you want to see the episode where I defeat the Ender Dragon, I just put that out on Christmas Day. So that's just my the last episode before this one. Let's see if we can find where the uh, end portal is. Yeah, that's right there, actually, the end gateway. Let's see, we'll use the uh, the fortune pickaxe here. And um, yeah, I'll just grab a bit of this to pile up there, and then we can get in there. Uh, quickly, I should have brought a trapdoor since it's actually a very, uh, with a trapdoor is probably one of the best ways to 
um, go through those end portal gateways since they're only one block of portal so you can't just walk right into them you have to either teleport into them with an ender pearl or uh, or you have to kind of shrink uh, your hitbox size by uh, squishing yourself down with a trap door which is something that we probably should have brought but that's fine we can always just uh, make do this way and I'll just uh, so we came up there if I think if I just go over from here be very careful along that edge that should be good maybe back here should work well hopefully we have enough blocks to build this up and of course we'll make this much safer later on but I think for now this should work quite fine so we'll just go up here and we'll take a little look and see it's quite nice that this gateway is very near to uh, it looks like we're a little bit low it's quite nice that this gateway is very near to the uh, to our um, little teleport in location there I'm not actually sure what that's called but uh, yeah, just because it's quite easy to get in and out. And this is basically how you go in these, is you just uh, throw an ender pearl into them like this. It seems a little dangerous, but that's how you do it. And uh, here we are on top of uh, on top of a chorus fruit. Actually, that's quite funny. I'm glad I brought a good amount of food. I suppose we could do an enderman farm out here eventually too, but yeah, for now, basically what we want is uh, these things right here, chorus flowers. And that oh, nearly fell off. That's how we basically make the chorus fruit farms. Let's see if there is an end city just close it doesn't look like there is but that's fine we can always take a little look around later and then we can just break the rest of this it's sort of like a tree that's how it works and we can just get the rest of this for the fruit so we'll just break a couple of these might just break this one I can't really get to those flowers but yeah probably just get maybe 10 15 of these flowers since with those then we can uh, farm this chorus fruit in the overworld the only thing we're gonna want to make sure to get is a good amount of end stone because with the end stone we can uh, that's kind of what you grow it on, sort of like the dirt you need for other crops. And so with that, then we can uh, yeah, we can just uh, grow it in the overworld and get a whole bunch of um, purple blocks. And I'm not sure exactly what I want to build with purple blocks yet, but I do have quite a few good ideas, I think. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to put that to good use. Another good use of purple blocks, which isn't, not purple blocks, but of chorus fruit that isn't actually super well known is that not only is it a food source but you can actually make it into end rods and end rods are these really cool um, kind of futuristic looking lighting sources that usually just spawn in in those end cities I was talking about earlier but you can also craft them with the chorus fruit that looks a little bit tall for us to be going up to so we'll just break this one and yeah you basically just go a popped chorus fruit which is a chorus fruit in the smelter and then also a blaze rod and that just makes a, a super simple um, amount uh, or super simple recipe there to make a good amount of the um, of the chorus or the uh, what do you call those um, forget end rods that's right yeah so we'll just keep mining up these and of course whenever um, of this chorus fruit we get by just mining them this way we can use to make the uh, to make the design not the designs to make the purple as well so we'll just so you get this one here and uh, this one here and sometimes they just kind of go short like this so uh, this is a good easy one to get the um, get the, the chorus fruit from but uh, you know, let's see how many we have now we have nine so that should be a good amount I'm thinking maybe 10 to 15 would be good since we don't want to run out we might also just farm a few ender pearls while we're here too and you may notice we also actually have uh, 67 levels in the next episode we're going to enchant that down with books and see if we can get some really good enchantments and maybe even get a new uh, diamond pickaxe of both types since uh, these diamond pickaxes are really good, but they are getting worn down, and as of, as of this point, we don't have a, a good source of mending books, so it might be the best idea is just to get new pickaxes with similar um, uh, um, enchantments on them. So yeah, we'll just grab all these, and then we can just pile up here, and hopefully get these ones over here as well. It's funny, if you actually look at the end stone, end stone looks very, very similar to cobblestone. That's because the texture for end stone is actually identical to cobblestone. It's just perfectly inverted, so it means that any color that, uh, this would be like this kind of whitish looking color is actually a sort of gray in the uh, in the end stone, or in a just cobblestone. So it is end stone, but it should really be called something more like end cobblestone, considering where its texture comes from. It's kind of interesting. You would think that the end would just have, you know, the normal stone texture inverted or its own unique texture but uh, that stone is actually the cobblestone texture inverted which is quite interesting but I do think it's a quite nice looking block and we'll probably actually farm a bit right here or not farm a bit but mine a bit you can't actually uh, 
farm in stone, although that would be an interesting uh, mechanic since you can farm uh, cobblestone or stone with like lava and water. So I'll just mine all this and see if we're going. We'll mine this with the fortune. I don't think it really matters though which one we mine this with. And again, I'm looking at the horizon here. I don't really see any end cities. They're quite prominent and quite easy to see, so I'll have to do a bit of looking for those uh, later on, I suppose. See, so we can grab this one. This is an easy to get uh, chorus fruit and um, a oh, chorus flower. That's what these are called. Yeah, because the fruit's what comes from these kind of strange looking branches. It's funny, you can't actually get these branches. Like, you can't just mine them and place them somewhere. Like, if I go silk touch on one of these, it won't drop anything uh, that's really useful. So that's unfortunate. But yeah, so we just grab this one here and uh, this one here. Just grab some more of this here. I think that's about 20 now. That should be good enough. So we'll probably just get a little bit more end stone and then we can set up a simple chorus fruit farm back at home. So that should be good. We'll just mine a bit more of this. Maybe three rows down, I believe, should be plenty. And uh, yeah, at this point we don't actually really need experience or ender pearls. This, ender, this one ender pearl we have right now should be enough to go through the portal. And if it isn't, we can always just kill one or two endermen uh, to get it later. And if I... I do end up needing a lot of ender pearls or experience. We can always make an enderman farm later on since that's a very quick and easy way of getting pretty well unlimited experience. But uh, yeah, let's see if we can find our portal again. Now this looks like a quite useful one here. This has two easy to get flowers. We'll just grab those because why not? Let's right, see if we can find our portal again. Um, not sure it is. It might, oh yeah, there it is. It's over there. Oh, at least it'll be easy to get uh, here next time we come, and we'll just grab that. It's funny they have the cave sounds in the Nether as well as the, uh, or not does, uh, the overworld in the end. So it's kind of interesting. Uh, you'd think it'd only be in the um, in the overworld, but I guess not. There we go, 25 flowers. That should be great. Thankfully, this is quite low. So, oh no, I looked at that Enderman. Was that two Endermans I looked at? That is not a good thing. Okay, well we're just gonna play this real safe, and uh, hopefully you can still hear me. I'm just gonna mine. Okay, I'm probably not going to mine. I think I'm just going to try and kill these. Right, we're just going to be super careful here. Oh, I do not want to die with uh, 67 levels. Let's see what we can do here. If I just walk over here. Keep running. If I keep running, I am quicker than them. Let's see if we can just keep running away. Hopefully we will uh, stop being mad soon. This is quite a pursuit, actually, if they hit me. Any more times I'll certainly die. Let's just keep going here, I think. It's probably our best uh, chance. Hmm. I'm trying to think of the best way to avoid this. Don't want to die here. I mean, I suppose it wouldn't be the end of the world if we did, but I certainly do not want to lose 67 levels. Let's see what we can do maybe if we just mm, go up. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, that's not going to work at all. All right, we'll just be really, really careful here. Trying to think, we can should probably eat. It's probably the best idea. Actually, I know what we'll do. If we go over here, I have the perfect idea. We have to do this really, really quick, though. Be super careful. Okay, two hearts. This is not good whatsoever. Oh no. I birthed and was slain by Enderman. Well, that's not good whatsoever. That's really, really unfortunate that we lost those 67 levels. But uh, really, what do we do? I mean, you know, that's quite bad, but uh, could be worse, I suppose. I guess we'll just have to deal with it. You know, I think it's things like that where it's very disappointing, but there's the other hand where, you know, it could have been worse. We could have lost all of our items. Now, obviously, you're saying, well, iCraft, don't be silly. You don't have any items on you, but uh, that doesn't really matter considering that at this very moment, we know those items are safe, right? So that's what I always try and find is kind of the best in a worse situation. And we don't really need to enchant anything right now anyway. So I'll just grab some trap doors and let's see what we can do here. I guess spruce slabs, that should be fine. And it's funny because I don't seem like I'm being very urgent, but what's interesting is that if you have items that are in an area that you're not in, they actually uh, won't despawn, which is quite interesting. So yeah. Yeah, it just shows how dangerous that is, and what I'm going to do is as soon as I get back there, I'm going to immediately build a special area that is completely safe and that will be um, not able to be gotten by Endermen. I'm trying to think what a better strategy would have been to have those Endermen stop being mad at me. I mean, really, I don't think there there was a better strategy, so yeah, I just really, it's one of those things where you kind of just 
have signed a death warrant when you uh, look at an Enderman without amazing, amazing armor or fighting skills, you know what? I suppose I might have been able to fight those off, but I'm not sure I could have. But yeah, I guess we'll just keep going through here. And uh, yeah, at least I can put these trapdoors down now. It's always good to look at the bright side. Yeah, there's another Enderman in here, stupid things, but uh, what do you do? Just go through here. Let's see. All right, and then we'll just follow this. And uh, we'll just go through here. Perfect. And we'll head through here. And uh, yeah. I'll just keep heading up here, and then we should be able to just put down these trap doors and uh, quickly, um, quickly do that. And hopefully we'll do, uh, hopefully those Endermen won't still be mad at me. That would be very bad if they were. Let's do this. And it seems like this we can kind of crouch down here and then go right through, which is the easiest way of doing this. Let's see if there's a dumb Enderman killed me right over there. Hmm. Now there's all my stuff. Yeah, it's unfortunate because you can only ever get up to three levels back when you die. So, or not three, seven is what I meant to say. But uh, yeah, so that's, I'm trying to think of what I could have done better, really. I'm not actually sure. Yeah, we'll just throw our armor on here. And let's see, we have our knockback swords, silk touch. It doesn't look like we've lost anything. So yeah, I mean, that was kind of horrible. But, you know, we can always recover. I think I'll just probably build back up to the portal and keep on going. I mean... To be fair, on uh, some other Minecraft worlds I've played on, I'll often die after getting those levels before I've spent them too. But uh, yeah, it's always just uh, unfortunate when that happens. But yeah, maybe we'll build an experience farm, a really, really good one soon. And then with that, we can hopefully get all those levels back. So, you know, I'll just go around like this and uh, put all this down like that. All right, we'll go through here. All right, so here we're here again. We'll just have to be really, really careful. And then we'll just go through the uh, the end uh, end gateway over here, or the end portal. I think it's called a fountain, actually. I'm not sure exactly its name, but the, the portal that brings you back to your spawn point, which I believe is just in the middle here. Yeah, there it is. It's actually funny. This is probably one of the only um, end, uh, end places I've been that has the portal sunk into the ground like this. They're usually quite high up. But anyway, it looks like we have pretty much everything we need, so we'll just hop through here. All right, we're back, and then we'll just place down this end stone and uh, yeah, make a chorus root farm over here. That should be quite good. Let's see what we have over here. Hmm. I think it'll probably work best over here since that's where the rest of our farms are, right? I like things. It's kind of good to have things organized together by group. Now I wonder the stupid skeleton got here. Oh, well, we can certainly deal with them. Might also get that spider too, considering that we actually need string quite badly. We'll just grab that. Let's grab the spider. Yeah, I guess if I had a water bucket, that could have done a lot of good, but uh, because I didn't, it's funny, there's so many good uses to having a water bucket with you, but uh, yeah, I think this, sh this should do well right here. It doesn't look like there's anything really here, so we'll just mm, move a little bit farther away. I actually don't want this stuff super close. Actually, I don't think that'll do good, actually. <laughs> Me changing my mind, but no, I think that will work quite well. So we'll just put one here, I think, and we'll just space these up maybe five blocks apart. So one, two, three, four, five, a little more like that. And then we'll just go one, two, three, four, five, one like this, one, two, three, four, five, one like this, one, two, three, four, five, one like that. And uh, yeah, we'll just go one, two, three, four, five, one like this, one, two, three, four, five, and just kind of uh, plan it out like that. That should work quite well. See if there's any other uh, hostile mobs around here. Doesn't look like it. I think that's about, what is that, that's about uh, eight, so we'll just do a few more, one, two, three, four, five, and we'll just put this under like this, since it looks a little bit better that way. Actually, we'll put this one underneath. Mm, actually, no, we'll put this above. It looks better like that, I think, and it probably will work better. That's kind of more the reason, one, two, three, four, five. Put one here, put that one above too, just because, again, we want it to, to work best. Put this one here, put this one uh, here, and then we should be able to just put in some chorus flowers there and that should work. So you basically yeah, just place it on top of the end stone like this and uh, yeah, go like that and uh, it should be really good. You can always see that one's growing already. So yeah, there's our chorus fruit farm. That's looking pretty good. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this rather um, unfortunate video, but at least we get our chorus fruit farm finished. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to subscribe, like the video and uh, yeah, 
um, come back for more content like this. Alright, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye!